So gas out is a project that is um, intended to detect gas leakages, shuts it off and then sends a notification. So before uh, the LCD displays that there is no leakage and then the green light is on if there is no leakage and then we have the buzzer and the motor that is supposed to switch it off. So I'm just going to use the lighter to um, put a gas leak. So immediately there is a gas leak being sensed. Once the gas leakage is detected, um, the red light goes on, the buzzer sounds off and the motor um, turns off the gas. And then a few seconds later, you will receive an alert message that says that, that there is a gas leak detected. So this is Smart. it's basically a home automation system. What it allows you is to uh, automate parts of your house. This may include uh, lighting to uh, monitoring temperature within your house, motion within your house. Uh, so the first thing we have here is the Raspberry Pi, which is what will be controlling the appliances within the house. Then we'll have LED bulbs, which will mimic uh, lighting within the house. Then you'll have the motion sensor right here, which will monitor for any motion within the house. Then you'll have uh, the temperature sensor, which will monitor temperature within the house. You'll be able to control uh, all of this application using your mobile phone or your laptop. So uh, first I'll show you how to control using your mobile phone. So you'll be able to turn on the different rooms. So the first, I'll turn on the first room. So here the bulb turns on, and then I'll turn it off. You can turn on light for the second room, there. You can also turn it off using your phone. You can turn on the room for the third room. Yeah. Here it turns on. And then you can also turn on, turn on the, the other room. Yeah. And then you can have, there's a feature called party mode. So this is basically where we're able to uh, blink the lights within the, the, the house. So there we go. So the lights are actually blinking independently. And then you can also monitor the temperature within the house. So here you click, it goes and shows you the graph of uh, the temperature within the house. Yeah, and everything. So the graph basically uh, shows you uh, the temperature within the house and the humidity uh, within the house. And then you have the motion sensor. So this will be able to uh, send an email when it detects motion within the house. So in place of a water tank, we have a, a thousand ml jug, whereby we have set a solenoid valve to stop at 0 0.5 liters. So we can start. So as you can see through the LCD display, as water flows through the pipe, we're able to see the volume of water that has passed through, the water that is being consumed by the user. And once it reaches the limit, which is 500 ml for now, water is stopped from the water flow and using the solenoid valve, water cannot pass through again. So at 500 ml, it just stops. Yeah. Now our solenoid valve has stopped water from flowing and no more water can go through the pipes. We are a Shara group. We created an app that helps uh, deaf kids learn how to um, learn sign language. So this is the Raspberry Pi uh, microcomputer which is powered. It has the data for the app for running the application. Then this is the Raspberry Pi camera that is used to project the sign language. Then there's the open CV which is used to um, implement the sign language. For the gestures to actually be implemented I have to place my palm in front of the camera so that it can uh, capture the color of my hand. So this is A. This is B. This is C. This is D. This is the vehicle impact and alert system whereby upon impact detection, an SMS alert is sent to your phone. Then you'll click on, on the link and open. So for this case, an accident happened along Gong Road near Nakuma to Prestige. An SMS alert is sent to the three most relevant parties, preferably the closest relatives, uh, the insurance companies and the emergency response. I'm here to meet other developers in network and see the amazing project they've been doing.
So this is an opportunity for the employers and the graduates in class of Moringa School to interact, um, get to understand what's going on in this sector, and at the same time present some amazing projects they've been working on. Helen Keller once said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. Statistics have shown that not all the visually impaired people are born that way. There are other uncontrollable factors that lead to their blindness. White canes provide the main means of mobility for the visually impaired. However, they only help detect lower level objects, leaving the upper part of the body vulnerable. In contrast to existing systems, SmartNav is designed to provide both upper and lower body protection. And so to develop this product, we had three objectives in mind. First was the image detection. So when the, it's, when the project, uh, application is launched, it takes on a live stream of what is happening. Then um, what it does next, there's another obstacle detection using the ultrasonic sensor. And finally, with the video stream, it will be able to analyze the object in front and then like give uh, a feedback of what is in front through an earpiece. Person. It's detecting this person. Truck. Person. Laptop. How many times have we been inconvenienced by unpredictable weather conditions, especially rain? I know some of us have, have washed their clothes, left them somewhere to dry, but rain uh, comes and makes them wet all over again. That's why we came up with the automatic awning. The automatic awning senses rainfall and juts out a canvas that protects your clothes. And then when the rain ceases, the canvas retracts. I like the, the rain stuff because that happened to me. Like rain cover for laundry that's outside is a, maybe a good idea. I present to you gas out. As we know as a fact, gas leakages are fatal. Our solution to you is an electronic device that is able to detect the gas leakages, shut down the gas, trigger an alarm, and send an SMS message. Okay, this is very impressive work. Especially, you said it was a two-week project? Yeah. So, congratulations. This is, yeah, cool to see. Thank you. Thank you. In Kenya, most conservancies mainly use collars to track and monitor their animals. This is effective for them in that they do know where the animals are, but they do not have a live, a live feed of what is happening to the animals. Eagle Eye offers up a platform where surveillance teams in conservancies can get consistent live feeds from a motion-triggered camera which comes with object detection capabilities. We are Kijo Smart and we are creating a platform where we'll be able to automate homes and use a web application to allow users to control remotely to their home. My favorite session during this project demo was the Ishara one, I-S-H-A-R-A, because it helps deaf people who can't hear uh, have more access to things such as education. We propose Ishara which is a platform where everyone can learn sign language at an early age so that we can communicate with each other throughout life. What I've seen is a lot of uh, great ideas. I've had the chance to uh, go around the workshops and uh, the innovation I've seen is, is very great. Suits and Tech is, as we mentioned during the session, think of Suits and Tech as speed dating for hiring, where we enable connections, we enable people to meet, to interact, to get to know about, more about each other, and hopefully pro probably work together and partner together in the future. Functions like this are really good to expose talent in Africa and um, make sure that people understand that whatever is being learned out there, it's also possible to be learned in, in Africa.